What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Six Scale Reviews. It's Dan, and we have the Cad Bane Deluxe from Hot Toys. Really excited about this. This is one of my most anticipated figures of the year. Um, I didn't really particularly like the show he was in, um, Book of Boba Fett, of course, but I loved him in Clone Wars, Bad Batch, and he was a badass in his own right in this show. So, of course, I had to get him. Um, I got this guy from Tim Sent, a.k.a. Toys Buying Agent. Um, had to do it for this one. Um, got to pay the premium to get them here fast but it is what it is worth the price in my opinion um but that being said here we are with the box itself and yeah let's look at the box it looks like a pretty standard hot toys uh star wars box you got the cigar band different images of the figure um all the warning labels and stuff in the back um you know pretty standard stuff pretty standard stuff but yeah of course this is just one Part of the art box itself we get another little art slip in here as you will see nice little portrait of the figure itself just like this looks pretty cool um not really nothing special with that and then of course we have the figure itself right here just one tray all the accessories i'm gonna go ahead get all this stuff out a little bit of a sneak preview um, I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff out and uh, we'll see what he comes with. Let's go. Alright everyone, here's everything that Cad Bane comes with, the deluxe version. Um, pretty decent amount of accessories I think for what we get. Um, you got some head sculpts over here to the left. Um, a lot of small parts right here. Um, these are very tiny. Um, the little thrusters can swap out hip joints for Toto. Um, I'll kind of explain those in a bit. but. Yeah, it's a pretty decent spread, I think. Uh, these pistols are absolutely fantastic. The detail on these are great. Really like the way these came out. The paint on paint apps on this, the wood grain, everything looks really good. Down to the weathering. Fantastic looking piece. Uh, I mean, what can I say, man? Hot Toys is always killing it. Especially with their accessories, they always do a really good job. But yeah, really like it. Really like the pistols. Um course we get this flame effect as well got a really nice vibrant flame color to it and then of course it kind of turns into like that purple and then blue so very nice vibrant colors on this i like the sculpt has that like swooshing effect so i think that's really cool really like the colors on this really really nice um and of course we got some extra hands we have his alien little ugly ass hands um <laughs> But uh, they look great. They look like, you know, the real thing. Got the glove on there that looks really, really well done. It looks just like a leather glove. Um, the fingers look really great. Got some skin texture on their wrinkles. Um, all kinds of stuff that you would expect from an alien. So there it is. Um, you only get uh, four extra hands. You get two relaxed on the figure, two fists and two trigger. I think that's kind of all you need for this character, in my opinion, at least. Um, and then as we kind of move over here, we've got some more thrusters, more normal size thrusters. These are for Cad Bane himself. Um, really nicely painted. Again, the thruster goes from like that very cool blue down to like a purplish translucent. And it looks great. So I'll put that on the figure later as well. And of course, we get to the head sculpts here. Um, these things look fantastic. I mean, love the screaming sculpt right here. You can see all the wrinkles and details, the vibrant red in the eyes. Looks really good. The mouth, the sharp teeth, everything. Fantastic. Um, I honestly don't know which one I would probably display mine with. They all look really good. You can see all the wrinkles again. The detail on this is fantastic. Um, I mean, yeah, look at those eyes, man. They look really good. This is kind of the back of the sculpt where it pegs in. Nothing too crazy there, but this looks fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out there. Before I get to Toto, of course, we got the best base in the world, the footprint sand base. Everybody loves this thing, you guys know. Um, just kidding, this thing's an absolute piece of shit. I don't know why Hot Toys keeps giving us this damn sculpted thing. Ah, this is going right back in the box. It's, yeah, it's pretty weak. Um, not gonna go over that too much um we do have a nice little acrylic stand um this is for toto uh you know it's got a nice little uh adjustable stand it's very strong um this is for when he's flying or when he's rolling around 
That's what those adjustable hips for is because his feet, you can kind of get him in that rolling pose. And last but not least, we got Toto himself. He got a big ass head. This thing looks really good though. The, the details, the paint apps on this are really, really damn good. Um, the eyes do not light up. They are just painted in that like kind of fluorescent like yellow. So not too bad. Um, all the limbs and everything are completely rotatable. The elbows do not bend, just only at the shoulders and at the hips. No bend in the knee. And then, of course, these feet pop off to go put the uh, rollers on. And then on the bottom, we got the holes for the thrusters themselves that I showed earlier. So yeah, that's Toto. He looks really good. I'm very surprised that he came with this version of uh, Cad Bane. And I'm really happy with it. He was, he's a badass little droid. Uh, <laughs> he's got a big head. He's a bit top-heavy because of the head so like unbalanced. You know, the head does move up and down, side to side, all that good stuff. It's a droid. So, yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, really happy with the way this came out. I can see how some people might not like it because it, it, it is very light and it feels a little cheap. It would have been really cool if this was die cast. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Just glad to have them in the collection at, at all. So, yeah, really happy with it. But, uh, yeah, that's it for the accessories. Let's go ahead and get Cad Bane out himself. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Cad Bane himself, looking fantastic. This figure looks incredible in hand. Got the removable hat that, yes, it does look like coffee cake. Uh, Leo and Brother Cousins and I were kind of joking about this on the stream the other day. Hat looks fantastic, by the way. It really does. Love, like, this is very hard sculpted plastic right here, so that's pretty cool. The hat is like a feltish material. It feels fair, somewhat sturdy, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Hat sits nicely on the head. Nothing nothing crazy. But man, this this head sculpt is fantastic. He just looks mean. He means business. That scowl is great. The outfit looks fantastic as well. You can see the there's a little bit very little weathering, subtle weathering. Like more of like a like a dirtiness to it. You can kind of see the color tone difference in the browns. A little bit lighter up on the shoulders. Um, kind of on the back. It's, it's very subtle, but he's definitely not like super clean. Um, the jacket looks very nice. It's a nice material. There is no wires in here, unfortunately. But I can make do. It. I'm, I, I really don't care sometimes. Um, I don't always need wires in my, you know, fabric. But... The detail is really good. I really like that subtle weathering. It really complements the figure well. The gauntlets are actually very clean, if anything, out of the entire figure. I think the gauntlets are probably the clearest, the cleanest thing. And there's a lot of sculpted detail on these. You can see all these different little gadgets and, you know, all kinds of tubes and all this stuff. So it looks really damn good. I mean, Hot Toys absolutely killed this. They have been on fire lately. Um... It just looks really damn good. You can see his, uh, you know, his belt right here with all the different cartridges. His two holsters right here. The boots look fantastic as well. The weathering on here is actually very well done because it's very subtle here. I like that metal type of uh, uh, like toe toe cover. I don't know the exact name of it. I forgot. But um, the boot looks really good. It looks like it's leather. Like, it really does. In person, this truly looks like leather, but it's not. Sculpted hard plastic. Um, got some tread on the bottom here. Looks really good, man. This is a hell of a figure by Hot Toys. And this thing does have some ankle articulation just right out the gate. You can kind of see all the different cartridges here as well. Um, one, one part is removable for the thrusters, and I will show that a little bit later. But, nonetheless... This thing looks absolutely fantastic. I mean, articulation-wise, it'll pretty much do what you want. He's a very tall figure, so um, he's a bit... It'll probably be a little bit awkward to pose him. But um, I'd say the main point right here is that these tubes do pop out, like so. Um, mainly, so you can position the head sculpt where you want it without having those tubes attached. Because if you have them attached, there's a high possibility you can put pressure back here and break it. So... In my suggestion, I would put the head sculpt in whatever pose you want to do, whatever, you know, and then from there, try to position the tubes um, into the slots safely because if you try to do it in there, this is a very, like, thin peg, as you can kind of see. 
So you don't want to just be wrangling that shit around and then possibly break the peg and then you're kind of, you know, shit out of luck. So again, just pull these out. You can see that's a very small peg. Pull them out and then move your head sculpt up and down, left and right or whatever. And there you go. You can just pop them right back in. It's very easy, very simple. It doesn't say this in the instructions at all. But if, you know, if you know how fragile some of these hot toys can be, then, you know, there you go. Um, the faceplate is just magnetic. It just pops out like this. You can see there, that looks kind of creepy. And you just put the new one in and then boom, there you go. New head sculpt. There's that one right there. I'm gonna change this out to the more grimacing one where he's kind of doing that face. Oh, this one doesn't want to sit. This one does not want to sit. You can see there's a gap. This one does not want to sit. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I will figure this out off camera. But uh, yeah, there it is. Up close and personal. Articulation. This guy's going to do whatever you want to do for the most part. Uh, double jointed elbows. I would just be careful with all these tubes and stuff. You don't want to be pulling these out. Just be very careful. If you have a Boba Fett figure, then you know. Just be careful. There's slits that go up the arm, and they kind of stop like around here. So just just be careful. You don't want to pull them out. Um, yeah, the arms can do whatever you want. Again, hoses. Just be very careful and mindful of those. The abs, the ab crunch. There's not much. It's mainly down here at the lower hip. There's not really much of a crunch up here. It's very small. It's mainly at the hip, as you can see, just like that. Um, legs probably go about there, as far as you get almost maybe about 30 degrees almost 45 you got a double jointed knees of course they go out about about there not too bad that's as far as i would push it and of course you don't want you want to be careful with all this pleather um because these are pleather straps and all that so yeah just be careful and of course ankle articulation you know do whatever you want uh nothing too crazy but that's pretty much the amount of give that you got um but yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation for this guy. Uh, let's go ahead, take out Toto, and I'll show you the different configurations on that dude. So let's go. All right, guys, here he is, Toto. Looking pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and convert his legs to uh, the rolling mode. You just go ahead and pop out his little hip joints like so. Then you pop in his new hip joints like this. Boom. Make sure they are left and right because you can definitely put them on backwards. Um, they are very, they are marked. So just go ahead and look for those little marks. Then you go ahead and take the feet off of the old ones like that. And then you can go ahead and put those on Toto himself. They're a bit tight, so just be careful. Try not to force anything or break anything. Just take them off, insert that hole. You know, move one leg out the way if you got to. Like this, and then you just plug in like so and then you should in theory yeah got him into a little roller mode boom that looks pretty cool and then you can go ahead and attach the base so the base just attaches to this you know hole right here right near his ass and then you just plug it in boom and then that's it now just be very careful with posing him and uh moving it around because uh, you don't want to break anything but yeah there he is roller mode have his little display stand and like, and like i said i'll show him with cad bane and everything um pose them next to each other standing up but yeah that's the base it's not too noticeable um again they did the the writing on the top so that's very ugly you can see all the text and all that but yeah that's that and then once you get once you're done with that oh i took the base apart the wrong way uh, once you're done with that, you can go ahead, take a, take it back apart, and then uh, I will show the thrusters once again. Because uh, I did not put those together. And yeah, you just go ahead, put this guy back together. It's kind of fun taking this guy apart. Uh, it's like rebuilding him, building him again. Then you put the pieces back on, like this. And then of course... You can just add these little tiny baby thrusters onto the bottom of the feet. They sit very well. Be very careful trying to break them. They're tiny. And then you can have a uh, total flying. So just adjust your base. 
stab it back into his butt and then boom you got a flying toto so yeah there he is like that looking pretty damn good um yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead pose up cad bane pose up toto and uh yeah let's finish this video guys let's go all right everyone here we are with the first pose and it's got cad bane exposing his pistol I'm um, holding his coat back, um, Toto there at his side, this figure looks incredible man, um, <laughs> who would have ever thought we'd get a Cad Bane in 1-6 scale, because I didn't ever think so, but damn, this thing looks incredible, the, out the outfit, all the little details on his like backpack, breathing thing, it's, it's great man, even Toto himself looks amazing, um, even though I wish he was die cast, still he looks great, he looks the part, um, but yeah, looks fantastic. Um, I can't really, uh, I have really nothing negative to say about this figure, man. Um, it just, it, it looks like a badass alien cowboy from Star Wars. I mean, I, <laughs> the detail on this is great. I love all the wrinkles and stuff in his face. It just, man, when Hot Toys does aliens, it, it, it looks really, really good. So I'm really happy the way this came out. Um, I do kind of wish the, the darker brown hat matched the, the the brown of the coat but i think i'm fine with it it's all right it is what it is at this point but yeah it looks fine um he's just you can do so many poses with this guy there's all kinds of different ways to pose him um here i just got another basic one he's got his pistol drawn out uh looking like he's ready to draw the other one uh yeah this <laughs> I'm so happy to finally have this guy in hand. The details are just insane. The pistols, people are saying that he looks a little clean from the promo pics. Um, like I said, the subtle weathering, it's there. It looks nice. Um, yeah, the, the detail in the mouth sculpts as well with all the teeth, it's very, very well done. Here we are with the flying pose. We got Toto flying, Cad Babe flying there with his ankle thrusters. Uh, yeah, Toto's looking kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, nah, dude, this 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 figure is going to be probably one of the best figures for Star Wars this year. Um, this is definitely, uh, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but this could definitely be a future, future grail status, man. Because this is such an amazing looking piece, unique. Um, and like I said, look at the details here, right here. The, the, the ankle thrusters, the boots look like real leather, but it's all sculpted plastic, so... Yeah, got Cad Bane here facing off with Boba Fett. Uh, this is the only Boba Fett I have that's like post like Empire. So <laughs> yeah, uh, I think about getting the repaint to kind of get posed with this guy now. But right now, this is all I got. So, but yeah, either way, it still looks great. Um, it's gonna be it, it for this video, guys. This is the last pose right here. It's nothing too fancy. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. Let me know what you guys think about this figure below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.